this week had me so excited. I didn't know what to do with myself. So many good dances. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome to Jan's Reviews. Strictly come dancing. Hi guys. I'm in love. I'm in love with Judge Rinder. Can't help it. I just think he's amazing. The judge started off with a jive, which was a bit of a lindy hop, but I didn't mind. I thought it was wonderful and I played it on repeat over and over and over. So good. Anyway, he did it to Boogie Woogie Boogle Boy something. But he did it so well. He's obviously done gymnastics in the past because he flipped himself over and easier than I flip pancakes. He's amazing. And he did a one-handed flip over this week. How does he do it? Anyway, I've got to stop going on about Judge Rinder. Leslie had a bright red dress and some sort of some sort of headpiece. And did an amazing, it has to be said, tango. She was really good and really believable. I really enjoyed it. How many times am I going to say really? Bless her, she hung on to Anton for dear life throughout the tango, but she's definitely not the worst dancer on there. And love her, she was absolutely exhausted by the end of it. And who wouldn't be? Now, Greg surprised me this week. I've always thought he's been one of the better dancers, but this week, it was almost like he was in a different zone. You know when you go into, like, automatic pilot just to get things done about the house or done in your life? I live my life on automatic pilot, it has to be said. That's why everything goes wrong. Anyway, it seemed that Greg was doing that this week. He just didn't seem to be in the right headspace. He was doing a cha-cha-cha, which out of all the dances, you would need to sort of have your brain switched on and bless him. He just couldn't get it together this week. I was quite disappointed for him. Craig gave him a four. One thing I must say, getting back to Judge Rinder, why does Craig keep underscoring him? Is he jealous? Does he fancy him? He is definitely underscoring the judge and it's becoming more and more obvious. This week, judge managed to get a couple of eights. And there's Craig with his measly six. It's like, oh, shut up, Craig. Moving on to Louise. She had a fabulous slinky dress on. But once again, I'm like... <sighs> when she's on and I must say I do feel that the judges are beginning to feel that way as well because they're saying to her you need to put a bit more in you keep being safe what they mean is you're getting boring one of them even said that she had no wow factor thank you that's what I've been saying no hips whatsoever a rumba is a slow sensual dance where you're meant to move your hips and undulate your body there's none of that coming from her all you get from her is a big smile and they overscored her again oh my god ed balls nearly dropped the dancer he'd got her up sort of like all i could see with his it was his arm up between her legs what was he doing and this poor girl was holding on for dear life. It was like one of those cartoon moments when you see them fall and then they steady again and then you see them go again. It was exactly like that. It was awful. And the whole audience were like... <gasps> and then... <gasps> it was awful. God. That's what I think would happen if I was dancing with somebody and they needed to lift me. I think that's what would happen. They'd drop me. Either accidentally or on purpose. Or Ray, my number two boy, waltzed to I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Oh my God, the guy has such style. Even when he walks across the dance floor, he's got this real aura about him. Aura. 
Ray has aura. Such an idiot. He waltzed around that floor and I've never really, I'll be honest with you, I've never really taken much notice of Joanne Clifton before, but she is a wonderful dancer and matches up with Ore beautifully. There was, do you know, I know it sounds silly, but I nearly cried. It looked so lovely. It looked so pretty. It was just, oh, Daisy, who dances with Aliash, was dancing a Charleston. It took me a while to find out it was a Charleston. In actual fact, I only found out it was a Charleston when the judges said it was a Charleston. But was in, they were both in black and white. And the problem she has, I think, is that she's very long of limb. And I didn't feel that the dance suited her. Because I'm putting the results in this as well, I will say... I'm not the only person that thought the dance didn't suit her because she was in the final two at the end. Her long legs have accentuated her dance moves. Now, in a Charleston, which is very fast to foot, it doesn't work very well. So I felt, I was a little bit embarrassed and a little bit disappointed. But then you can't help it if you've got long legs, can you? What are you going to do, chop them off? Moving on, Laura was injured, so she didn't dance. Apparently she hurt her ankle. Danny did a superb rumba. It was just lovely. Oti, his partner, was in the brightest red dress. Do you know, if I was a dancer, I'd want to be in red. Red's a nice colour. It's a statement colour. That's probably why I wear red lipstick. It's like, hey! I'm brave enough to wear red. And I think when you wear a dress, it says the same thing. It had all sparkly tassels on it. And it was just amazing. I'd quite like to wear something like that. Their dance was superb. The light They turned all the lighting down and the sparkles were like little fireflies all around as they did this central rumba. It worked really well. He's doing good. Can I talk about Judge now? Oh, all right then, in a minute. Anastasia. Now we saw a different side to Anastasia this week. She was like, but she looked really pretty. She had like a peach chiffon dress on and I think she was waltzing. I didn't write anything down, just rubbish. Anyway, she looked beautiful. Her hair was cut up to there, so it was like a little, quaint little bob. And she gave this really believable performance of being coy and, you know, dainty. And <laughs> I don't think I could ever be coy. I'd quite like to be sometimes. It's not all about me, is it? Anyway, she was delightful and I found myself smiling all the way through. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing that side to her and her movements were beautiful. Her hands and her arms. She did really well because she lost Brendan this week because Brendan has got a chest infection. So she was dancing with Gorka. Do you remember gorgeous Gorka who danced with Tamika? It was just incredible. It was so pretty. So lovely, so dainty and exquisite. Now it's time to talk about Judge Minda. Do you know what? He did that sort of move. You remember back in the day, I've done it again, when they do like the funky chicken, but he did it like it was like jitterbug style. It was so cool. And what I realised about him is he's a bit like Right, is that even when he's doing the fast dances, he comes across as being quite sort of relaxed. I'm not sure how we can, how I would explain that, but it's almost like, you know, he's sort of manly and sort of laid back. And there's something totally adorable about the man. I don't know what it is. I must calm myself. He is absolutely perfect with his partner this pretty russian girl oksana they are a delight to behold they're both happy she has this constant beautiful smile while they're dancing and 
it must be contagious because he smiles, he looks happy, he radiates happiness and joy when he dances and that's what dancing should be about it's about enjoying it as well share the joyness of the dance with people that are watching and that's exactly what he's doing and i think as a musician that is what i thoroughly utterly enjoy about him i also enjoy it with ore he has a similar performing style and both these guys are so caught up in the Strictly Come Dancing circus and loving every second of it. And when you see people like that, it just warms your heart. That's why I call them my boys. And until the show is over, they will be my boys. Judge Rinder and Ore. Farewell to dear Leslie. I think you could have stayed another couple of weeks. You were entertaining. You put 150% into your dances and performances, which is a lot more than some of the younger ones are doing. So I too am really sorry to see you go. I know the joy of dance and I know the joy of music. So take care of yourselves. Like, share, share subscribe to Jan's Reviews and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.